Hey everyone, it's Apoc here, and welcome to my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan the Comic Collector Geek. Uh, this week's theme is Caboose Covers, so any covers that features uh, the rear end of someone, <laughs> or the buttocks, or the bum, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but Alan's called it Caboose Covers, so that's what we're going with. So I've dove into my personal comic book collection and picked out uh, 10 covers that feature the butt prominently. So let's take a look. First up this week we have the Image 30th Anniversary Anthology number 6 um, and this is an anthology series by Image kind of celebrating their 30th anniversary and one of the, the characters they put out over the years was this character here, the Pro and this is a great cover by Amanda Connor, one of my favourite artists um, who drew the, the um, Pro originally. Uh, Pro is a prostitute who is a turned superhero so it's quite a funny uh, funny story and here we have uh, something within that world we have um, here with this paddle board kind of etched with the word image in it and here she's been uh, kind of spanking the, the buttocks of uh, this uh, guy here and this priest that's kind of walking away uh, clutching his uh, butt there. Um, so it's just quite a funny one to start off with featuring uh, these guys butts that have been paddled by the pro. So that's Image 30th Anniversary Anthology number 6. Next up this week we have Bite Club uh, Vampire Crime Unit number 2. Uh, which is a great cover by Frank Quitely. Um, here we have this uh, vampire uh, on the cover kind of laying on her stomach with her uh, kind of butt showing in the air there and she's in the uh, sort of a police uh, tape line out of someone that's been murdered uh, so we have the vampire there kind of lying on her stomach and she's got all these cool tattoos as well and you can kind of see some just peeking out under her knickers which kind of is just kind of enticing I guess for the for the cover um, but yeah it's just another fun one there with the, with the butt on display so that's uh, Bike Club Bike Club Bike Club Vampire Crime Unit number two in at number 8 this week we have Night Terror's Catwoman number 2. This is quite a, quite a recent book and this is the variant cover by Tula Lotte. Um, which is just a really cool uh, image of Catwoman here uh, looking a bit frightening as these hands kind of creep up behind her. But we see her from behind here and she's kind of looking back over her shoulder. And we just kind of get her, the, kinda, her, her butt kind of there prominent um, with the kind of leather uh, suit that Catwoman wears just uh, with that shine there. Um, which is an interesting one for the challenge, I guess. Um, so that's Night Terrors, Catwoman, number two. And at number seven this week, we have the Green Arrow and Black Canary Wedding Special, uh, which is another cool cover by Amanda Connor. Uh, here we have um, Black Canary in our uh, wedding dress here, which is basically our a regular black canary costume but white and, and looking a bit more wedding dressy uh, with her kind of kind of butt semi exposed there um, and here she is on top of this giant uh, wedding cake with a uh, green arrow her husband uh, slung over her shoulder um, and it's quite a funny one as well because you have a uh, cupid's arrow just kind of um, stuck to her butt there which is just quite funny um, so it's just yeah, a really fun one from Amanda Connor so that's green arrow and black canary wedding special and at number six this week we have Hack Slash Hot Shorts uh, number one, which is this um, uh, one shot which features some uh, short stories from the Hack Slash uh, universe. And uh, this is a variant cover. I'm not sure who by, but we have the main character here uh, in a kind of lingerie, and uh, kneeling uh, forward uh, with her back towards us, and here we can see her, her butt there in her underwear, which is uh, another kind of fun butt one for the challenge. So that's Hack Slash Hot Shorts number one. In fifth place this week is Deja Forest number three, and this is the Lyrics Lee cover. Um, here we have um, Deja Forest looking kind of uh, sexy there with her, um, with her form kind of well defined there by the artist, um, and the see-through kind of clothing that she's wearing gives her gives her but a well a good definition there, I guess. Uh, it's just a just a I guess another one that really fits the theme well. So that's Deja Forest number three. And at number four, we have Queen Sonia, number 12, uh, which is uh, another um, one where which we have a similar pose as the last kind of few issues. This time it's uh, Red Sonia, who's Queen Sonia at the time. And she's kind of walking away from the camera with her with her head looking back over her shoulder. And we can see her, her butt here. Um, her underwear is a lot more uh, skimpier than Deja Forest's was in the last book. But it's just a cool uh, Red Sonia book, uh, nevertheless. So that's Queen Sonia, number 12. In second place this week, we have Inglorious Rex number one, uh, which is the uh, 24 hour variant cover. So, this is a Indiegogo crowdfunded book by uh, Shane Davis, uh, probably most famous for uh, Superman F1 at uh, DC. Um, but he, this is uh, his property, Inglorious Rex, which he crowdfunded and put out. And this is the variant cover, uh, which was available for 24 hours. So, if you backed up in the first 24 hours, uh, you would get uh, this cover. 
um, I don't know if you ordered this cover that is. Um, and that's just a cool cover here with an animatronic who's like the um, kind of main female character in the book. And here she is on the, the back of a Rex, and which is obviously the display in her um, uh, butt there and the kind of costume that she has, uh, which is interesting. So yeah, it's just a really fun one of animatronic. So that's Inglorious Rex number one. In second place this week, we have uh, Vampirella number one. Uh, I believe this is uh, volume six of uh, Vampirella from uh, Dynamite. Uh, here we have uh, a Virgin cover, which is by uh, Dave Stevens. And I think originally this piece was for a hardcover uh, Vampirella collection, I believe. I'm not, not entirely sure, but uh, one of the comic stores here in the UK licensed it as a variant cover for their for their store exclusive. There's this uh, Virgin here, uh, Virgin cover, which is really great. And here we have Vampirella kind of leaning uh, against this uh, object here it's a very uh, classic uh, vampirella cover and here we have uh, dave stevens a master of the female form so the way he's posed vampirella here is wherever he has her uh, kind of, uh, butt sticking out accentuating her long legs which is really cool uh, so just a really really great uh, dave stevens piece uh, repurposed for this uh, vampirella variant cover of vampirella number one and my number one pick this week for the Caboose cover challenge is Mega City 909 number three, and this is the B cover. Um, we have this character here who's been in this uh, kind of intense uh, gun battle, and as as with uh, many of these uh, kind of anime style characters, and um, with battles, uh, sometimes the clothes uh, <laughs> disappear with the with the more uh, damage that's taken. And here we have the character here just. Um, Obviously, in the, after the battle, and our kind of clothes are ripped to shreds here, and here we can see her posed with her, with her butt there, most prominent. Um, so that's why I've chosen it as my number one uh, issue for the uh, Caboose Challenge. So that's Mega City 909, number three. So that was my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan, the comic collector geek. Uh, this week's theme was, of course, uh, Caboose covers. Um, so if you'd like to take part and just dive into your uh, comic book collection and pick out um, 10 covers that feature the, the butt prominently and, uh, and and make a video using the hashtags hashtag caboose and hashtag Friday comic challenge that way everyone who clicks on those hashtags can um, take a look at your video and see, see the cool issues that you have in your collection. You never know, we might see some cool stuff that we want to add to our own collections and likewise if you check out other people's videos you might also see some cool stuff that you want to add to your own collection. Uh, you may notice my setup's a little bit different uh, this week, it's because the tripod that I normally use uh, broke and I haven't had time to pick up another one so uh, I'm in a sort of different position in, in the same area but I'm balancing my phone on a, on a bookshelf so hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but otherwise um, if you'd like to check out some of my other entries into Alan's comic book cover challenges then please click on this playlist that's linked here at the side and otherwise I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.